Shooting black and white photography can be fun. By removing color from the equation, you begin to focus more on the key elements of an image such as lighting and composition. Today's video, I'll touch on a few reasons on why you should start shooting in black and white. One way to improve your photography skills is to learn to see in black and white. Black and white photography removes any distraction of color and helps the viewer focus on other aspects of the photos, such as the subject, the textures, shapes, and patterns. In other words, you are prioritizing composition. When photographing with models especially, composition is going to make or break your images. Specific angles, body placement, proper direction, the rule of thirds, and other composition techniques are super important when attempting to capture a good portrait. So yes, the hand lightly wrapped right here. Hey, but can you rest your head like on his shoulder? Is that possible? Are we, okay. So I'll need you Zan to be nice and tall, right? So yes, chest out nice and tall, um, kind of stoic face, okay? I think this is gonna be dope. Three, two, one. Sometimes you'll see a color image that's sloppy with too much going on, but it'll still capture your attention because of the color factor. You do not get the same visual effect when producing black and white images, so you need to be super meticulous in terms of creating your shot. photos have a tendency to be labeled as classic or classy. Shooting without color makes us appreciate the process of photography even more. It makes us concentrate on other aspects of the image we are about to make. If done well, a black and white photo can also allow a viewer to gain a glimpse into the process of creating the photo. And no matter the subject or the year, it can exist in any era, therefore making this specific form of photography timeless. What you lose from not being able to capture beautiful golden light, you'll gain back in focusing more on the direction, the quantity, and the quality of the light around you. Learning how to read and play with different elements of light in this way is a fantastic skill that bleeds directly into shooting video as well. Light and the relationship that it has with your subject, plus the shadows that form on the images like the ones on the screen here, become the main focus rather than the color of the elements within your frame. Sometimes, looking at someone's face or into their eyes without the distraction of color can provide a stronger emotional connection with your subject. When you photograph a model without color and they're comfortable, you really create some amazing organic images showcasing raw emotions that would sometimes be drowned out due to color. For example, I have two images on the screen right now, one black and white and the other color both taken in the exact same location. In the color image of the models laughing, you get the ugly rust color of the steps, the sick green from the dead winter trees, and the overcast gray sky that may either draw your attention first or eventually draw it away from the models as you examine the rest of the image. But in the black and white photo, the model is the star of the show with the raw emotions being captured on camera. One of the most important things that you can do in your quest for great black and white images is to train your eye to look for shadows, patterns, textures, and lines like I mentioned earlier in the video. Not to say that you wouldn't do this when shooting color photography as well, but it's also just a really good trait for when you want to capture some nice black and white images. Not only do things such as leading lines and shadows help enhance your images, but they also add an overall story to your photo. Without the distraction of color, you are now able to integrate various pieces of the environment into your image to help convey the overall concept of your story. So use that to your advantage when you really want to engage an audience. I also say when you're shooting black and white images, there's not a bad focal length to go to, but if you are incorporating various pieces into your environment, if you don't want to step back too far with a close knit um, prime lens, make sure that you're throwing on a 35 millimeter because that's a great environmental option for all sorts of photos, especially environmental portraits. Now you definitely can convert a color image into a black and white one via post. Lord knows I used to do this all the time when my colors weren't right in my images. But I learned over time, when you go into your session with the mindset that you're only going to shoot in black and white, it really shifts your mind into another gear. Having the intention to create black and white images versus just correcting them in post really changes the type of images that you create in the field. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. 
It's sort of like my love letter towards my newfound love of black and white photography. And there's no right or wrong way to shoot. Color and black and white photos are both beautiful and have their rightful place within photography. It's completely up to you to figure out what style you want to shoot in. And of course, the gist of this video was to give you guys a kind of a push in the direction of if you haven't started shooting with black and white, maybe you just want to test it out. All right, y'all, I'm gonna get up out of here. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you smash that like button. Drop a comment if you have a preference on black and white photography versus color. Thanks again and happy shooting.